For the sixth day now, KTN, NTV, Citizen TV and QTV are off air. A matter that has shocked even the Senate's Legal Affairs Committee, the Joint Parliamentary Committee of Broadcasting. The media owners were before the two committees of both houses of parliament today to state their side of the story and to shed more light on how the government and the regulator, the Communications Authority of Kenya, have handled the digital migration process. The media houses do not understand why the Communications Authority decided to switch them off, yet they had asked for more time until 30th May, well before the international deadline of June 17th, to be able to set up their own digital signal distribution network and distribute their own set-top boxes among Kenyans. At the moment, they say Kenya is not ready to migrate, as there are only about 500,000 set-top boxes in homes countrywide, most of them from pay TV. Migration is a process, and it's not about switching off analog signals, uh, transmitters and switching on digital transmitters. It's about people. It's about people having enough set-top boxes so that when the signals move to the digital platform, people can watch. If, the, if there are no, nobody with the... With those set of boxes being able to convert the signal, you have not migrated. You have just switched off the thing on the other one. Many couldn't understand the rush to beat the deadline only three other African countries have managed to beat, some like Tanzania, to their own detriment. Why is it that if there is, we have a latitude up to 17th of June, why is, what is this obsession that we you get out of the Supreme Court and immediately and go switch off? We suspect because there is a lot of darkness around there, there must be a hand that is pushing all these things. Because what we are reading is that we are all being pushed to go to PAN because we suspect without PAN carrying the three media houses, their content, they don't have a business model. They cannot survive. And therefore we have to be forced by every imaginable means to take our content there so that they can survive. Okay? And this is why we are saying, why are you doing this? Okay, that, that's what we suspect. The three media houses continue to insist that they can carry their own content as they control nearly 80% of the viewership. Not only that, they're concerned that the identities of the shareholders of Pang remain a mystery till today. Uh, have you established right now that there is that local ownership? And if there is, do you have an idea who could you know, uh, this local ownership be? There are still some opaqueness around it. I, I always find it very difficult. If you, if you are doing a clean business, why do you need to hide your identity? If you came to, to Nation Media Group, which is a public company, and you want to know who the shareholders are, go to the register, everybody knows. Why all these subterfuge or people who are part and parcel of the, of the, of the partners of PAN, why do they have to go to Jersey Island to register a thing there so that they are not known? The media houses say they have welcomed all the other local free-to-air TV stations to join their consortium called Africa Digital Networks. They have also entered into a deal with the banks that will offer financial assistance to Kenyans who wish to buy the set-top box that will retail at 2,500 shillings. We are talking three months. Ago. We have waited all this time. Why all this fuss about the next three months? It's not like heaven is going to fall if we don't do that. And then all this business about the international... Um, obligations. South Africa is also part of the international community. They are not migrating. Nigeria is not migrating. Egypt is not migrating. If the people of Kenya cannot have information, cannot have knowledge, they will be destroyed. The implementation of the constitution will be destroyed. And therefore that's why we, must, we, we are concerned that uh, the problems that are now bedeviling you, uh, we must find a very, very urgent solution. The trio will also petition both houses of parliament that they are given a broadcast digital signal distribution license and not the self-provisioning license that they currently have. They also want a fair allocation of frequencies, as at the moment they say, the allocation favors only the Pan-African network group. Finally, they want the analog equipment that was confiscated on Sunday by the Communications Authority to be given back. Andrew Ochieng, NTV.